Millions of girls are in love with rhythmic gymnastics, and many of them are professional athletes. But only a few of them eventually become superstar gymnasts who are recognized all over the world. The Ukrainian School of Rhythmic Gymnastics is known for its special style and high quality of training. Oleksandra Timoshenko, Oksana Skaldina, Tamara Yerofaeva, Anna Besonova, and Hanna Rizadinova made the whole world admire their skills and grace. Being the number one athlete of the team is a huge responsibility. The heroine of our TV program is the refined and hardworking Victoria Mazur, who always has a smile on her face. It's all about love for this sport. I can't live without it. It really is love. It's hard to explain. Zodiac sign, Libra. Animal, dogs. Flowers, I like tulips very much. There is a lot of hard work behind this young girl's happy smile. She has devoted 17 years of her life to rhythmic gymnastics. She was born in Luhansk and the first sport she engaged in was artistic gymnastics. At some point I started to cry because I was hung up on parallel bars and I didn't like it at all because I'm afraid of heights. Then my mother asked me point blank, so what form of gymnastics will you choose for yourself? Well, I often watched the Deruchina Cup and of course I was attracted by the ribbon. So when I was six years old, I immediately got into doing rhythmic gymnastics in Luhansk. After being in a training camp in Alushta and the competitions in Kiev, coaches noticed the 11-year-old Victoria and offered her a month of training at the Deruchina school. No, well, my mum, of course, was against it at first because I'm the only child in the family. And my mum said, how will I live without my kid? She's still a kid. The coach responded, don't worry, she won't be there for a long time, just for a month and that's it. As it turned out, I have been in this school for the 11th year in a row. Probably the coach, Albina, saw something in me. She was like a tiny bird. She always has been hardworking. Victoria was afraid of many things. She couldn't do a lot of stuff, but she was a very hard worker, and that was her main trait. Of course, as the only child in the family, Victoria really missed her parents. But she had a high goal in mind and very quickly she learned to be independent, specifically to work hard, listen to the advice of the coaches and work on her mistakes. Not everyone can handle three training sessions a day, starting at 6 a.m. First achievement was a bronze medal in the junior team competition of the 2008 European Championship. This award gave the leaps and bounds she needed to become a world-class gymnast. In 2010, Victoria Mazur began to compete in the senior group. She started with an individual program. In 2012, she was considered number three on the team. And according to the rules, only two gymnasts from the country could present an individual program. Then the coaches decided to invite Victoria to the group exercise team. At the Olympic Games in London, she was a member of the team, which took fifth place in the group all around. Perhaps the Olympic Games, when we realized that we really did everything we could, there were tears of happiness when you saw your coach, who also cried because of happiness, together with you. These moments are unforgettable. Probably all these moments are connected with sports, with performances, because it's your whole life. 2013 was the most successful year in Victoria Mazur's professional career as a gymnast. Back then at the Universiade in Kazan, she won a silver medal in the group all around and two bronze medals in individual exercises. Favourite season? Probably spring. Favourite film? I love Angels and Demons. Favourite city? I'm madly in love with Kiev. Initially, Albina Duruhina was training Victoria, though over the past three years, Irina Duruhina has been her main coach. Because your emotions first came out and you needed to tell somebody your personal story, convey your feelings to people so that they could feel what you are capable of showing on the gymnastics arena. And that is because you can only go with a set of elements as a beginner. That is absolutely fantastic. But further on, you will have to show what you are really made of. Irina Duruhina is a very strict and demanding coach. She doesn't tolerate laziness and demands unbridled devotion to the sport. She doesn't let her students relax even for a moment. 
In general, she is a gymnast who is very talented and who works very hard. She's been with us for more than 11 years. And I would say that in spite of all her positive qualities, she doesn't work hard enough. And the fact that she doesn't work hard enough in the most difficult moments has a negative impact on the results. Her program is excellent, and all the athletes go through the best possible exercises to produce the best results. Every person is lazy when they wake up in the morning. I don't want to go anywhere. But this also is being trained over all of these years. For 11 years, I've been coming to the gym day by day, from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. I'm spending time here, and it's really hard. When Anna Rizadinova took a break in the performances after the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio, the entire burden of responsibility fell on the shoulders of Victoria Mazur. Victoria, as the first member, slightly feels the pressure of responsibility because she needs to show good results. The previous four years were very successful for Ukraine. We were prize winners at the World Cups and at the Olympics. Anna won a bronze medal. So I think that sometimes Victoria doesn't have it all for psychological reasons. In addition, you need to adapt to changes in the rules of rhythmic gymnastics and create new programs to the point of perfection. Victoria likes her new exercise with the hula hoop. But we created a very interesting program in the Vogue style to the song Vidlik, or Countdown. The idea came to us when we were flying home. We were coming back from the World Cup. Irina decided to listen to the song. She selected some excerpts from it. We arranged them in a short period of time, staged the program for a day and went to perform. The composition turned out quite well. Every famous gymnast undoubtedly has their own style. It is an absolute gem that turns her performances with a standard set of elements into a very unique and imitable composition. This is precisely why Anna Bessonova stands out from other gymnasts and will be remembered for such a composition. Hence, she was given the name the Queen of Elegance. She's modern and artistic. Victoria has role models. She says that she likes people that show some flair and zest. This is Anna Besonova. She is known as the Queen of Rhythmic Gymnastics. I also was in love with Natalia Hodunko, with her work. I really love extraordinary people. She was able to do unbelievable things while performing on the mat. For me, these people are number one. Ты от нее вообще не мог ожидать ничего. То есть она могла творить такие вещи, которые ну, нереальные. Для меня это вообще люди номер один. One can't do without competition in the team. But Victoria believes that everyone should compete only while performing. Gymnasts spend all their time in the training hall from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. They have no time and no desire to fight with one another. Мы с Аней Резадиной вообще лучшие подружки. Anna Rizadinova and I are the best of friends. We have never had any quarrels during training. We offered advice to one another when we failed to pull off some elements. I don't see the point in competing with each other. You should prove everything at the competitions and show the results of your work. Favorite food? It's probably a sweet cake, something like red or black currant cake. Signature dish. I love borscht and prepare a very tasty dish. There is an opinion that all gymnasts stick to a very strict diet and constantly check out their weight. But Victoria breaks all the stereotypes. She likes cooking and eating delicious food, but she does not gain weight. I'm lucky with my constitution. I don't gain a lot of weight. And most likely, I lose it during training, because we have intensive training sessions. You lose one kilogram immediately. Victoria is definitely the life and soul of the party. In any situation, she can cheer herself up and everyone around her. I keep telling her, if you get tired of gymnastics, you should participate in the stand-up comedy shows. She is such a positive person. The fact is, you either have it or you don't, and you can't learn it. She knows how to lighten things up. 
It's a simple fact. Nobody can get bored of her. Victoria has a lot of admirers, especially abroad. In Spain, for example, people are just as interested in rhythmic gymnastics as they are in football. There, young people come up to you, they touch you and they burst out in tears of happiness, simply because they were glad to see you and meet you. That is very pleasant for me and gives me great inspiration. Victoria also gets a lot of attention from men, but coaches don't approve of such a great amount of attention of the male sex to their underlings. They invite me, but I respond to them that I have no time to spend with them. I don't really need all that at this point in my life. Besides, I'm in a relationship with a guy, so I see absolutely no sense in going out with somebody else. Happiness. Happiness can probably be found in small things. Love. Love is present everywhere. Dream in sports. Since childhood, I've been dreaming about winning an Olympic medal. The optimistic Victoria believes whatever happens is for the best. We should believe in ourselves and remember the difficult path that has already been overcome on the way to realizing our dreams. We shouldn't stop halfway. Victoria Masur is already in the records of history of Ukrainian rhythmic gymnastics. But we believe that soon her star will shine even brighter.